everyone's like, what's your real name? What's your real name? And I always say honey. And right now my real name still is honey. You will not know my real name. So it's honey. But I was a preschool teacher for seven years. Well, almost eight at this point. Um, and one of the students could not say my name. She said Miss, whatever, but she can never get it right. And we don't know how she got it, but she came up with it and she just started calling me Miss Honey. And I didn't even know she was calling me that. She ran up to me because she had fallen and she said, Miss Honey, Miss Honey, I got hurt. And I said, my name's not Honey. And she's like, Miss Honey. Like, I was just Miss Honey. So I was already DJing and I needed a DJ name. So Honey was just given to me. <laughs> I wrote myself a little note when I do be become big and I get, you know, rich and famous, whatever. I will send her a little something, probably start her college fund. I've always told myself that. So I've never been caught by my parents. They would catch me sneak out, but they didn't know what I was doing. So they eventually nailed my window shut. It's still nailed to this day. And um, my mom kind of figured it out one day. I was in my room, I would put the towel under the door, you know? And she was like, what's that smell? I can still smell it. Well, I didn't do it right that day. I was too high. And she walked in my room and she's like, you're smoking. Why are you smoking? That's not good for you whatever, you should not be smoking. And I was like, I love it. And I ran away for like 20 minutes. And then I went back and it was fine after that. She didn't love the idea of me smoking, but she was okay with it at the end. Oh, man, I've had so many fun times smoking and I've been out to every festival, concert, any sporting event you can think of, I've been there. Well, back, I don't know, almost 10 years ago, they used to have this thing called Rock the Bells. Me and my cousin, man, we would save our money and we would buy our VIP tickets. We would not go general admission, VIP only, because these were the only festivals that knew, we knew of that were selling cannabis or at least had cannabis representation. So there was like booths where you can look at the edibles, you can look at the different kind of strains and everything you can think of, they had it there. And we loved these festivals. They had the best artists. We got to see Lauryn Hill. We got to see Nas. Um, who else did we see? Wu-Tang Clan, they brought out the hologram of ODB, so that was super cool. Maybe we could plug a picture here, but that was insane, highlight of my career and life. Um, but yeah, I've had some really dope cannabis experiences there, just smoking in the crowd and not getting in trouble for it. Having fun being outside, listening to dope music, being comfortable with people around me who are also smoking, just great times and that has to be one of the most memorable things for me. So I've smoked with a lot of cool people, but I would have to say my favorite celebrity, well, actually the only celebrity I've ever smoked with was Wiz Khalifa, the biggest pothead in the world. He's an amazing rapper. We're gonna put him right here. This is some proof, guys. Okay, I really did. Um, long story short, I got invited to the, what would you call it, the KK release party, and I got asked to go into a room not in that way, but I got asked to go into a room with a couple of people and Wiz was just like, here, try it. And I was like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. He's like, try it right now. I'm stupid for saying no the first time. Um, 30 minutes later, I did pass out in the guest bedroom. Um, so that was a little weird, but I'm alive. We made it and that was probably the most fun experience I've ever had smoking. Oh man, so DJing has taken me on a roller coaster through gigs, through other events, through meeting artists, celebrities, people in the industry, and like, actually I've met so many people, it's weird, but <laughs> you, like people you wouldn't actually think, like I've met an astronaut, which that's pretty cool, okay? But yeah, so I've met a lot of crazy people and I would say that, oh man, doing that and seeing what other people do, like, and how their careers have shifted from what they wanted to be to who they are. Like it kind of put me in this place where, okay, I can really do anything. So I have all these connections, I have all these artists, people in my life. Okay, what can I do? Okay, well, guess what? DJ Honey starting a podcast, a visual podcast. Um, shout out to Underground Magazine. Um, yeah, that should be coming out pretty soon here, but I, I've always thought that was the next step. I wanna host people, I wanna host a show, I wanna talk to people, I wanna interview people, kind of like a modern day TRL. That's really my inspiration right now. So like I said, meeting all these people and seeing what they've done and where their careers have led them put me in this position and I'm so grateful for it and I'm really excited. So I hope you guys can catch me soon on that. It's season two, baby. We doing it.